a really short video showing you how to create collections and rate your photos in Lightroom. So this is my library and I'm on my last import. I just imported 111 photos. You'll see I have a lot of collections here. I have uh, over 8,000 photos in this catalog. And so it's really key to keep things kind of organized so I can tell where things are. Like I've got a collection for all my Canada shots. Well, not all of them. I started them. Some family shots. Um, a collection of people in Lewiston that I photographed. One of the main coast. So let me show you how to do that with your stuff. All right. Um, I'm working with my previous import because I kind of know what I have for some photos. So these are downtown. Um, the first thing I do is I go through and I rate them. So... Um, I have like just select the photo and I can come down here and pick these stars, but I can just come right up here and just pick five stars. Maybe that's a five. That's not a five star. Maybe um, maybe that's a two star. Maybe this is a four star. I can just uh, use the four key here. If I really like this a little, I can make it a three um i can use a five on this one and just go through and rate it maybe that's a one maybe that's a one you can do it this way you can also double click and launch and you can just go through and so that's a two it automatically advances to the next one i'm gonna make that a three i'll go back to two. Ooh, pretty out of focus in the front i'll go back to one and i think you get the point okay so now if I look at these, you'll see I've just rated these. There's a five, there's a two, there's a one. I can filter my photos and um, I can filter them by, I can say like, let's see all the all the five star photos in this collection. So that's a five star photo, okay? I can say, oh, let's see all the four stars. Maybe all the three stars. Maybe everything two and higher. You'll see that we're getting less and less uh, quality images and I could even go to let's see all the one star and higher when I have an image um, I can also flag it maybe it's a four star but I really want to do something with this so I can flag that uh, I'll flag that one too and maybe I'm flagging them because I just want them to stand out a little more so now let's say I rate all my four stars and I rate the flagged ones too all right so now anything four star um, that I flagged, whoops, do I have that? Flagged and rejected photos. Okay, so these are all flagged and rejected. Okay, no, and those are just rejected. So flagged photos, not rejected ones, and it's those two. Okay, so now you'll see that's a little bit of how to rate photos. I really like the star system. I think that works best for me. You can use the flags too if that's helpful. To do that, again, just simply, uh, we'll clear, we'll go back to undo my filters. Um, if you want to flag something, just click it and um, come right down here to flag. Oh, I'm sorry, right down here to flag, and now you flagged it. Okay, so that's that simple thing. Now, let's go back to my previous import. We'll look at everything. Uh, let's say I want to make a collection of downtown photos. I can just simply go up to Library and go to New Collection. Now, if I have any selected, I can click Include Selected Photos. So I'm just going to type downtown. Um, I won't include these selected photos, but I'll create it. So now you'll see I have a collection called Downtown. And let's put these, I'll add this one. Let's put these photos in my downtown collection. Now I have four photos in downtown. So making collections is a really smart thing to do because um, you just can uh, sort things really easy. All right. And you can avoid having tons of photos tossed everywhere and just kind of really get them organized. All right, that's it for the moment.